This from John. I'm a follower of your beginner 70.3 program on Training Peaks. I've been swimming for a few weeks and don't seem to have any pace variation. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm putting in a big effort and my pace isn't any faster. Any advice on why that might be? Thanks for asking the question. Again, this is kind of another common thing, especially for adults who are just getting into the sport of swimming because they want to participate in triathlon. Um, let's kind of like talk a little bit about pacing. A lot of athletes will do different types of testing on the run or the bike. We've mentioned functional threshold power. Um, and I like to use like a 5k or 10k run test to kind of set, help an athlete set their different paces. And it's easy for them. They know their easy pace, their moderate pace, their hard pace. And you can do the same thing in the pool. So if you haven't done so already, there's a couple different tests that you can do in the pool to help guide you with some paces. One of them being a, a 1K, 1,000 kilometer time trial, um, meaning you're putting in a very strong effort. And another one is called a critical um, swim test. And that involves doing a 400 time trial followed by a 200 time trial. And then there's a calculator that you can plug in those numbers and find your critical swim speed. And so if you haven't done that, I highly recommend it. But a lot of times adults just don't have the experience. And it's important to know when you are trying to vary your pace in the water that you're aware, are you doing an endurance set? a speed set, a tempo set, a strength set, because that's going to dictate how much rest you take between um, intervals. So let's say, you know, doing 10 100s and you're trying to hold zone four swim pace based on your test, well, then you're probably going to want to take a little bit more rest mm -hmm. between hundreds so you're able to nail that swim pace. And then as you get more fitness in the water, then you cut out that rest time and you're still able to maintain that zone four pace. So it's definitely, you know, it starts with the test and it's just really being aware of, of what type of purpose your swim training is. And then to also know, like I always say, send me a swim video for analysis. And if you have a technique issue, you know, typically I know if a swimmer can swim a minute 40 per hundred or less, or a two minute per hundred or more, I kind of know what type of technique issues they may or may not have based on their swim pace per hundred. But sending me the swim video for analysis, I can help you determine if you do have excess drag um, and, or you are kicking too much or you're dropping your arm and you're, or you don't have a proper catch and pull to propel yourself. Cause a lot of times just working a little bit on technique, um, will help you become a faster swimmer and then you'll understand what it's like to have different swim paces. But if you've never had your technique analyzed, that might be a simple solution as well. Mm -hmm.